Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to this channel, and welcome to a brand new series. I am so excited. And you know what? I misspoke. I shouldn't have said welcome. I should have said, what's up, gamers? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry about the audio peaking, but I'm not really. I'm so excited, everybody. I am so very, very much excited for this new series because we are playing my favorite game. I know that it's kind of basic to say that Skyrim is my favorite game, but I can't help it, okay? <laughs> What's up, gamers? We are starting a new playthrough of Skyrim. wanted to play this game on this channel in my own series for so long because I love it and it's my favorite. And here we go. I'm gonna start a new game and we're gonna do this. Okay, let's go. I'm also going to have to change a lot of the settings real quick so that y'all can hear all the music and everything and, you know, you're going to be able to, to hear everything and see everything and all that. Oh, but here we go. <gasps> I haven't seen this opening in a few months now because it's been quite a few months, actually, since I have um, started a new, new playthrough, basically, of Skyrim. I think I started it. Oh gosh. Everyone loves this opening, so. It's just so good. All the Elder Scrolls openings are good. Let's just get that out there. <laughs> oh yeah, I can uh, look around. Right, okay. So, what I'm gonna do first and form. Hello? Oh, I can't get into any of that. That makes sense. All right, so let's decrease the look sensitivity a little bit because it's kind of a lot. Yep, I'm, us I'm also using a uh, PlayStation 4 controller, interestingly enough. The PS5 just came out like last week um, at the time of me recording this. I think it came out... Um, I forget what day it came out, to be completely honest. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to turn the brightness a little bit up. Cut opacity, I'm going to turn all the way up. Uh, this looks like it's all good. Depth of field, let's turn a little bit up too. That looks fun. Alright, so gameplay. Right, display. Okay, and then audio is what I really need to turn up. So let's turn the... Yeah, let's turn it all the way up. Let's turn this about halfway. Have Turn this about a quarter. Voices all the way up. That's good. Uh, let's do about... F yeah, that looks fine. Alright. Hopefully this isn't going to be too loud for, for me. Because <laughs> I can always turn it down for y'all. So, Alright, that all looks good. So let's go for it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Hey, you finally awake you were trying to cross the border right you walked right into that imperial ambush same as us and that thief over there damn you storm cloaks skyrim was fine until you came along empire was nice and lazy if they hadn't been looking for you you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to hammerfell you there you and me we shouldn't be here it's these storm cloaks the empire wants we're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. 
but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dibella, Kinnerev, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Akatosh. <laughs> Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Look around at Helgen, because you're never going to see it again after this. This is Helgen. I Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Stopping. Why do you think? End of the line. It jumped a little there. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! <sighs> Face your sucking around too much. <laughs> You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Alright, I'm just real quick gonna turn the volume up a little bit for you guys, because it might be a little too, um, quiet. Okay, sorry about that. I want to make sure that it's good. Okay. Ulfric Stormcloak. Is, I mean, this is my first playthrough that I've ever really done, um, so I want it to be, I want it to be good. Okay. The All of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Poor guy. Anyone else feel like running? Wait. They are gonna kill you there. Him. Step forward. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Okay, so here's the deal with this. I have completely decided uh, what the character is going to be. I wrote an entire character sheet. Um, the only thing is I'm going to have to figure out uh, what they look like, basically. I know what race they're going to be. I know what sex they're going to be. Um, I know mostly some of the physical attributes um, I did a whole backstory, I did, basically I planned most of it out, but it is gonna take me a second to do some of the, also I know their name and everything, um, but it's gonna take me a second to do the actual character creation, so, um, what I'm actually gonna do here is, I'll tell you now, we are going to play a Khajiit, and the Khajiit is going to be a female, but... I'm going to speed up the character creation thing so you all can see me go through the entire process. You know, just in case you've never seen this or you want to see it, whatever. Um, so I'm going to do all that and I will see you when I'm done with that. Okay. See you in a bit. <laughs>
Okay, so <laughs> I felt I feel like I took a while to to do that, but um, here this is our character. This is what she looks like, at least. Um, I feel really good about this one. I feel really good about this one. So I wanted to do kind of like a golden, kind of golden fur, but I was also thinking about white. So I decided to do, to like incorporate some of those, um, elements in. So I'm kind of like lighting up her face a little bit differently with, with the different lights and stuff. And then I really started to like the red, the red, um face paint or war paint or whatever that was there and then it's also on her neck and stuff and then I liked the red so much that I put put it in the hair and I really liked the um the piercings as well which is yeah it's cool that you can do that too so yeah so green eyes uh golden skin or not skin golden fur uh red hair red face markings and some white accents as well so, let's finish a name. So, let me grab my little sheet, and I can name her. So, her name is going to be G. Issa. Oops. Zaman Rin. G. Issa Zaman Rin. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm just making sure that this is all correct. Alright, let's go. You with one of the trade caravans, Kajit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Captain, hmm. what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to elsewhere. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Interestingly enough, um, Jisa did not grow up in elsewhere. Uh, like I said, I wrote an entire backstory for this character, so I think I'll, as Old we're going along, I'll kind of. So I'm hearing. As we're going along, I'll kind of introduce different aspects of that backstory, I suppose. Um, if you want to read the entire backstory, actually, um, or most of it, um, I will put that in the description below so you can look at that. All right, here we go. I can call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down, and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our As you wish. I'm sure these, uh, these Nords over here are like Come the on. Eight Divines. There's a ninth one, hello. <laughs> I haven't gone all morning. Boy, you would have. <laughs> My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You They're gonna show the it, by the way, so if you don't want to see a beheading, look away now. You can look again. <laughs> Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the cat. Oh, hello. Oh, I should mention also there that is... I have never played Did a Kashyyyk before. I said next, next prisoner. Next prisoner. <laughs> nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay. I'm not moving at all, by the way. Oblivion is that? It's Sentry. a dragon. What do you see? It's in the clouds. Dragon! This opening is so fun. I've only played it a handful of times, actually. I haven't had all that many characters. <laughs> oh, man. 
Ah. Uh, Alright, it won't let me. There we go. Alright, so... I'm gonna go with Rayloth, because... I don't think that this character would go with the... person that was trying to kill her. Just a second ago. Could the legends be true? We could hear his voice. Don't burn down villages. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Oh, you want me to go up here? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Can I not loot him yet? Oh yeah, my hands are still bound. Jump through the roof and keep going. Alright, here we get to learn about falling damage. <laughs> oh. Oh, the Khajiit voice is interesting. Alright, this uh this look sensitivity is fine. Everyone get back! Hello. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take I care think of the boy. I have to find General Polyus to is... join the defense. God's guide you had on. I think at this point Jisa is pretty um Well scared, obviously. But um really does not want to be following um Quickly, follow me! Really doesn't want to follow Hadvar, but, you know, realizes that she doesn't really- WHAT?! Hello? <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened to me in Skyrim before, what the hell? Um, yeah, she doesn't want to necessarily follow Hadvar. Um, but she will, because there's not really much of- much other choice. Okay. Yep, I'm coming. I'm running. I'm running. Damn traitor! Out of my way! We're escaping, Hadvar. You're not stopping us this time. We're gonna go with Raylof. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign You, come on! Into the keep! Alright, I'm coming. Woo! And here we are in the Helgen Keep. Enter the keep with Radvar over it. Had Radvar or Haloff. <laughs> All right. We'll meet again in Solengar, brother. Looks Isn't like the we're guy the only beheaded? ones who made it. <laughs> Probably not. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. Are you sure it was a dragon? We better get moving. Come here. Let okay. me see if I can get those bindings off. Thank you. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Sorry. All right. To, uh... Get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's Let's locked. Take a couple Let's of things. See about that gate. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So what we're gonna do is equip these. So let's equip this, uh, put on these fur boots, and that. All right, let's see our character. <gasps> no way to oh, open this from our side. I love this. Oh my god. Okay, if I do say so myself, I think that this Come character on, creation is pretty good. Oh no. We're not gonna pick up the He's uh he's helping us. That is not your best. Maybe one of these Let's take everything. Alright, let's Unlock take that. that door and let's get out of here. Why aren't we unlocking the other door? Or why aren't Come we on. going through Let's that? Let's get one? out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. I never even noticed that actually. <laughs> that we just like straight up don't um ew. 
I don't want to take buckets. Let's just... I'm literally going to take everything, by the way. Um, because I just want to. And I think that this character would kind of do that. Um, starting brand new in... Okay, so I'll get into the backstory a little bit. So, this character, Ji-Isa, has never been to Skyrim before. She's not having a good time, her first time, obviously, because... You know, immediately she was imprisoned. Um, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so she's starting completely on her own that dragon in a new life. Peace. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything. There's gonna be people in here. Ground. Okay. I wanted to um, let them finish their little speech first. Alright, so we're going to do dual wielding a little bit in this playthrough. I'll get into it a little bit more once we get into it a little bit more. <laughs> so. Wait, is this heavy armor? Okay, we are going to do light armor. 100% light armor. Uh, no heavy armor at all. Um, although we will keep these. We will keep these um, just a little bit to sell. I don't think we're... I like that. I just need to gather some potions. Help it. Ask the Empire! The prisoners are escaping. Get the ground! Alright. We're also gonna sneak whenever we can. Oh. Oh, thanks, dude. See if you can find any potions. Hell yeah. We'll need them. Okay. Grab some pheasant, rabbit. So I think in this dire situation, uh, what Jiisa is going to do is try and gather all of the resources that she possibly can, um, because she knows she's going to need to survive and sell everything. She's alone in this brand new environment. Uh, we're not going to take stuff like plates or anything, but I think wine buckets we're not going to take because we know what people do in those buckets. You know, is uh. For electricity. <laughs> Bowls, we don't have to take. Ladles, blah, blah, blah. We don't have to take those. But, you know, other stuff. Like, uh, like garlic braids and frost miriam. We'll, we'll take those. Why not? <laughs> and obviously swords and stuff like that. So we'll take all of that. Alright. Ooh. I don't think I ever noticed that there's a, uh, a ladder up here. Oh, empty. Duh. So, yep, starting in this new place, we're going to try and take everything we possibly can, other than anything that's, like, completely unnecessary, like buckets and things. Let's take... Oh! Ah, don't roll away! Okay. We'll get rid of that basket in a second. Um, I just didn't want to... I just wanted to grab Run. those warbler let's eggs. Yep, I am done. Alright, let's take a look at her again. Oh my gosh. Look at this Khajiit Imperial. <laughs> Not really. Troll's blood. It's a torture room. Hear that? Yes, it is. Come on. Oh, hello. Boy. Ooh, first execution animation. Empire. I keep cutting them, cutting him off right as he's. Uh, Wait a second. Or actually, everybody. Like keep cutting there's everybody something off. in this cage. Right when they're about uh, to uh, speak. Lock. See if you can get it open. Oh. Let's take that. Might take that. Dead gold take once all we get of those. Out. Okay. Grab it. Let's unlock this one as well. Yeah, I know how to lockpick. <laughs> Actually, I pride myself on being pretty good at lockpicking, so um, in this playthrough we're going to do some of it. We're not going to do like a ton of it, necessarily. Um, not like any more than usual, I suppose. Um, let's unlock this one. I thought for sure it was, the, it was the other way, but it is not. Alright, just a bunch of bones. Cool. Oh, I didn't even notice you. 
<laughs> oh, alright, we, uh, we're already over encumbered. So, I'm still just gonna unlock this door real quick. So, I should probably get into the backstory a little bit. So basically, um, well, what's relevant here is that Jiisa is going to try and, um, gather all the resources possible because she's alone in this brand new province that she's never been to. Uh, she heard rumors that some other Khajiit, uh, found some fortune and found some financial freedom, uh, in the snowy and northernmost province of Tamriel, that is Skyrim. So, alright, we'll get into the backstory in a second. I'm, I think I'm just gonna talk through going through all this. Um, I'm not gonna take that. So, in this playthrough, we will get into it a little bit, but what I want to focus on now is getting up the skills that Jiisa should already technically have. Um, also, this is a completely unmodded playthrough. Um, of Skyrim. We will not be modding anything. Uh, this is Skyrim sure Special Edition. Way out. Oh. Here. I always keep... I always cut everybody off um, right, right before they're done speaking. But yeah, so um, I want to get up some of the skills that Jiisa would normally have. Uh, so that's actually going to be... Wait, did I get a skill book? I should have gotten a skill book through all that. Um, yeah, so couple of the skills that Jiisa already has are one-handed and, um, restoration. Um, we'll get into the backstory a little bit later. Um, I would love to be able to get into the backstory now, but, you know, escaping Helgen is kind of a, a pressing task at the moment. Alright, so we'll go in there. Hello, sir. I'm so sorry. Or ma'am, or mix. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, let's learn sparks. And that's gonna be it. Wait, really? There isn't a flame spell? Alright, let me just go in real quick. Because I swear there was a flame spell. Is it on you? No. Weird. Alright, I looted from you, looted from all y'all. Really? What the heck? I could have sworn there was a flame spell. Alright, well that's fine. We know sparks. Oh, I think maybe you have flames. Let's let's take a look. Oh yeah, you already have flames. Okay. That's why. So I guess everybody starts off with flames, because... Um... I mean, I knew that dark elves started off with flames, because they're really good at... Um, destruction magic, and they've got um, Come on, hurry up. a natural natural resistance to fire, and all of that. So yeah. This way, boy. You just wait. Just hang on a second. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. Okay. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to pull back. Imperial dog! You won't leave Helgen alive. All right, well, they're all going to notice me anyway. All right, I think I'm going to try and kill them and then go back because of this very thing. So I think this is a good time to learn restoration. <laughs> We're actually gonna favorite that one. Yep, I understand how favorites work. Okay. Alright. Then we're also just gonna favorite these iron daggers. Re-equip both of them. So I think in this playthrough... Um, okay. It's all, it's all good. So in this playthrough, um, so far, I shouldn't have grabbed those. Whatever. That's fine. 
We are going to focus. Oops, oh my god. We're going to focus primarily first on one handed and restoration, and then after that, it's going to be sneak, um, destruction, and a couple other things. Light armor is going to be the choice of the armor choice of Jisa. That'll be that, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna take any of that. I don't need it. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's go on ahead. Let's see where this goes. I'm trying to look for any, like, extra stuff that I missed. That I potentially missed on previous playthroughs. Whoop. Yep. Okay. Oh wait, what about up here? Let's take a look. I know I should probably be moving a little bit quicker, but that's okay. I just want to take a look. Take a break. I'm on my way. Oh yeah, I like to sing while I'm doing things, so <laughs> I will start singing in this playthrough, right probably. This yeah. I've never been here before, I have no idea. <laughs> oh god. Alright, well, Isa has never battled this many enemies before, <laughs> at once, at least. Too many eyes, no? <laughs> I do. I think I share in your sentiment. I as in this character. Isa. <laughs> okay. Let's grab these. Um... Ah. Let's grab these eggs. Alright, I think that was about it. Oh, wait, no. It wasn't. <laughs> Good thing I looked. Because we are also going to do alchemy in this playthrough, so I'm just going to get some ingredients. I know, Rayloff. You're being very patient with me. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. Okay. Ooh. Hello. There we go. Sorry. Hold up. That was weird. There's a bear just ahead. See oh, her. It is. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Okay. I'm mostly worried about this coin purse. That I couldn't get. There we go. <laughs> Is this the bear? It looks like a rock. Um, I am sneaking. Excuse me. Whoop. Where are you grow- oh. Oh no. What? I think I was detected by Rayloff. Alright, I'm just gonna save right here. Oh yeah, so we're playing um, Skyrim Special Edition on PC. Um, I'm playing with a PlayStation controller. We're actually gonna kill this bear like this. I know it's kind of mean, but you know. Sneaking is over. Ooh, all right. Cool. I didn't think we were gonna kill it that easily. 
Yeah, so I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller just because um, I prefer them. I prefer it to a mouse and keyboard. Um, it's also easier. For some reason, controllers are a little bit easier on my hands in terms of um, using them like long term, I guess. Um, I have tendonitis, so I kind of have to be careful with um, exactly what and how much I do with my hands, because, like, it can hurt quite a bit, uh, if I'm not careful. So, and I'm a, I also play instruments and stuff, and so that's kind of my main priority of what I like to do. Um, how I like to exhaust my hands, I suppose. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. God, for no good. way to sure know if anyone that? else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood Completed. just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. Oh, wow. It's probably best if we nice. split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Oh, yeah, you would have. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your My help. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. You already said all that. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay. Alright, so. I'm not sure how long this episode should really be. Um, but I think we'll keep going. So, let me get into the backstory a little bit. So, Jaisa and her family. So, um, they did not... Oh my god, this music is so loud sometimes. So, they did not live in elsewhere. They were actually traveling merchants. Um, and Jaisa is one of six in a litter. Sorry, I thought there was some kind of clipping, some kind of weird thing going on um it might still be happening but um i changed a changed a couple of settings so hopefully it's better uh but anyway so yeah they were traveling merchants um selling a bunch of different things um and jaisa is one of six in a litter um and she's actually very young so um as as kind of emerging adulthood came about and um, a few of her siblings or litter mates um, were having litters of their own, um, the family was kind of struggling to feed all the mouths, um, all of the new, you know, the new little Khajiits that they, that they had now um, because the family unit stayed very close um, with all of the new additions, um, but, uh, Jiisa, along with a couple of other, uh, litter mates decided, the ones, you know, without litters of their own, decided that they would, uh, go and adventure out on their own. Jiisa is actually the first to leave the family, um, she went to, she decided to go to Skyrim, um, a couple of the other uh, litter mates decided to go to other places. Um, but yeah, the the family had heard about um, Khajiit caravans, but um, they were finding that Skyrim was relatively profitable for them to travel around and sell their wares. Um, Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Hello, sir. I'm not lost. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Whenever you get a uh, an armor level up, either light armor or heavy armor, you know that you've taken some damage. <laughs> so it's kind of funny whenever we get those. All right, so I need to try and remember to do healing um, almost every time when we do after we take damage basically so that we can get that restoration spell or 
so that we can get that restoration skill up. So yeah, um, before we go in here and go up to the Guardian Stones, there we go. Grab some thistle as well. Hanging moss. Oh wait, no. Ah, cancel. All right. So we've got the mage stone, the warrior stone. Look at that! Oh my god! Look how beautiful this is. God, this game. <laughs> I love this game and the thief stone. So, as a Khajiit, you would think that I would be activating the thief stone because we're gonna focus on thief skills or whatever but no we're activating the mage stone yes and that is so we can get our restoration up faster um while we are gonna focus on sneak a little bit later um that's not what we're gonna be focusing on right now we're gonna be focusing on one-handed so daggers um, and restoration for now, and then destruction a little bit later. So, but yeah, um, basically, Jisa decided to travel to the province of Skyrim because she heard about all of the um, Khajiit caravans that were that were here. And that we're apparently making a good amount of coin and, you know, finding success in this province. Um, although, it seems as though, uh, from the impression that she's gotten so far, that relations might not be great between the humans and the Khajiit in this province, so... We'll see how all that goes moving forward. Alright, so we've got some tripwire right here. Let's activate it. <laughs> Rocks come crumbling down. In other games, like, uh... Again, I told you we have someone standing guard out there. And don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. So, oh yeah, that's gonna save you. And get some rest. Your shift is coming up, and I don't want you dozing off again like last time. <laughs> well, clearly somebody made it in here. It's pretty funny that they added in that dialogue. Oh, so he's coming up. He's coming up. Maybe I should have grabbed this the thief stone because I feel like sneak is pretty vital um, to get up early, just because it's much easier. What was that? Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> do your worst. I will do my worst. There you go. Now you're dead. Might equip those because those may be better than what I have. Also, I might grab that too. All right, let's see what we got. So, Imperial Sword. Um, also, mostly we're gonna focus on daggers. Oh, let's do one of those. Yeah, we're gonna focus on daggers mostly for one-handed. Um, what's my so, is that going to increase it? Doesn't look like it. Well, yeah, that would increase it, obviously. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Suppose we can equip that. Okay. Um, let's grab some restoration as well. Oh wait, let's do it 
the other way, actually. Um, we can do the steel dagger on the right and then the iron dagger on the left, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure, because I actually haven't done dual wielding before, but um, I'm pretty sure how you do it is you put the lighter one in your left hand um, so it swings faster, because I'm pretty sure the, um, the game mechanic goes by the left hand weight, and so the swing speed is faster, um, overall, if you put the lighter weapon, um, in the left hand. So yeah. Um, I mean, I've done, I have done wheel, do wielding, dual wielding, um, like, at some point in a playthrough, but I haven't necessarily, like, played it as a main playstyle, uh, so that's why I'm gonna try it out. That's why I'm going to try it out in this one. Yeah. Sorry, I thought it was gonna be easier to talk through this <laughs> while I was playing, but it's, um, a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. Because, you know, I'm trying to focus on all that. What was that? Boy! <laughs> Nothing. What's nothing? <laughs> Your death. <laughs> oh, execution no. animation. Hell yeah. We'll probably get uh, beheading um, as a perk. I don't know if that's actually a perk. All right, none of that is gonna help me out at all. We're not. We're not gonna do blocking, obviously, because we're gonna do. Ooh, here's a pickaxe. Damn it. Um, but yeah. Alright, let's level up. Yay! Alright, so... What should we get? You know what, I think we're gonna choose stamina first of all. First off. Um, also, this playthrough... We're not just gonna choose one class. I know that a lot of people say that you should just choose one to focus on, um, and one, like, type of skill tree. Also, we're not gonna take a perk quite yet, because I like to save them up and then, like, grab all of them, um, like, at once. Um, I like to save up, like, five levels worth of perks. Um, yeah, but, so, if you haven't ever, um, played this game, you get a perk every time you level up. A lot of people say that you should, um, oh yeah, we can get rid of most of these tankards, by the way. I know I grabbed them because I was like, oh yeah, we're totally going to use them. No, we won't. <laughs> I mostly, I mostly did that for roleplay reasons, to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, so you get a, ooh, let's grab some iron ore as well, uh, real quick. Oh, what was shit. This? Oh, is that a Khajiit? Oh, brother, sorry. <laughs> Not brother, she doesn't necessarily think that about all Khajiit, but... But, as she's noticing, um... There aren't a ton of Khajiit that she's seen... Uh, in this... In this province so far, in this region. Oh yeah. Let's go back. Um, but yeah, so get a skill point every single time you level up, and then you can level up one of your attributes, um, health, magicka, or stamina. That time we decided, or I decided to, uh, level up stamina, um, because it increases your carry weight, and, um, we will be able to... Oh, here's the boss chest, yeah! Let's grab everything else first. So with stamina, we'll be able to run longer distances. Not longer distances, necessarily. But, um, we'll be able to, um, run for longer. And we will also be able to, um, deal, uh, power attacks more often as well. So, that is definitely important to me. Um, this is a two-handed, this is two-handed, I 
think that is all. Alright, let's take this stuff in this chest. Ooh, look at that! We don't need the steel war axe. We have enough money. Or we have enough goods that'll, that will get us money, basically. Um, and I know it just grabbed a bunch of that ore, but we are not going to do a lot of smithing in this playthrough. I forget. I don't think you can cook in this one. No, you can't cook in these pots. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah, right. Whenever I see bodies without, or with their, like, clothes still on and stuff, I'm like, oh, did I get to uh, loot that person? <laughs> That's where we came from. There's another place that we can go to. I know it. In this little cavern. Ooh. This coin purse. You see that? Huh. I bet you anything. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, here is she, Issa. Honestly, she looks like a thief. <laughs> but, it's not because cause, cause she's a Khajiit. Just because with that torture is hood, it just kind of looks like that. Um. Oh wait, was that an ore vein? No, apparently not. Um. I thought for sure there was another place in this... No, there totally is. Am I just forgetting how to get there? Here, wait, let me see. I feel like there's 100% another way of this. That was the little skeleton. Okay. That was that. Is that it? Really? Am I thinking of another... Another mine? What the heck? This will bring this up, right? Yeah. Alright, let's bring this back down. Maybe I'm thinking of another mine, because I thought for sure there was another, um... Wait, no. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's through here. Duh. Forgot to go this way. Alright, let's grab some ore. Um, and then we'll go on. I forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna do that a lot. Um, as we're going through this, but I think as we go through, I'm going to go over this backstory a little bit more. Um, I could, I mean, if y'all want, I could definitely read off, uh, the entire backstory. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Just leave a comment down below. If you want me to read off the whole backstory, I am going to put most of it in the comments or... I'm going to put most of it in the description down below. Um, so you all can read it if you're really interested. I mean, I did an entire character sheet, so I'm obviously pretty happy with... Um, not obviously, but, you know. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Time to end this little game. Who said it was a game? Okay, why is my sneak thing not coming off? Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, obviously, I was very excited, so you know you'd you would assume that that's how it would be. But yeah, is there a uh, smelter here somewhere? 
Where are you at, boy? Oh man, he's up there. You know what? It's time to use something different. <laughs> I guess I was just, huh? Heck yeah! Oh, hell yeah, alright. Yeah. <gasps> right, iron dagger left, steel dagger right. Oh shit. Hell yeah! <gasps> yes! <laughs> that was awesome. Alright, cool. Alright, let's also heal up real quick. See, Isa is like, hmm, I'm very curious. I found this spell book, and... I found the spell book, and I wonder what this new spell that I learned does. Uh, because she obviously already has a little bit of an interest in magic, being a... Uh, kind of like rudimentary healer, um, just kind of basic healing spells that she used mostly for family purposes, um, you know, just in case a, just in case some of her litter mates were hurt while playing or, you know, things of that nature. Maybe sometimes the family were in business dealings with shady people, um, you know, just selling their wares. You know, it happens sometimes. Um, and just in case something went wrong, um, she was always, always ready to lend a hand. Uh, you can find out how exactly um, Jisa figured out all of, or where exactly she learned these uh, basic healing spells from. Uh, if you look at the description down below and take a look at some of the backstory, but long story short, um, her family spent a good amount of time in Hammerfell and they were selling their wares, some, selling actually some alchemical ingredients to a group of very, very talented restoration mages, um, you know, specializing in the restoration school. And they were performing healing spells, basically life-saving healing spells um, on a... They performed life-saving healing spells on an Alakir warrior, and um, Jiisa was just completely blown away by this, and she was like, oh my gosh, you have to teach me. Um, I'm so in awe of, of what you can do. And so they taught her a little bit. And yeah... So she kind of became the designated healer for some, uh, for some easy, you know, spells and things. Whoops. Wow. I'm like, oh, I'm good at lockpicking. And then that happens. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, but before she left, since her brother stayed because he had a litter to take care of of his own, and couldn't go on to, um, on any adventures, um, she taught him everything that she knew about restoration, you know, simple healing spells, um, and he became the official healer of the family, uh, starting from then on. So, yeah. Alright, so, I think... I think I'm gonna get out of here and then maybe we'll make it to Riverwood and then we can end it there. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I knew that there was this other cavern over here. I was like, oh, wait, what? Apparently I didn't know about this though. <laughs> uh, but I knew about that little hidden chest because one time 
I was just exploring this place. And uh, I found it. So, where is this gonna empty me out at? What? Well, I didn't know about that. <laughs> also, real quick, a real quick detail is that um, at night, Jisa likes to navigate and travel because of the moons. Uh, because in a lot of Kajiri culture, uh, the moons are kind of guiding, uh, not necessarily beings, but they help with navigation and um, just kind of guidance in general. Um, I think that's part of the Kajiri pantheon, um, and it's definitely part of the canon for this character. So, the fact that it's night is very good for Jiisa. Um, she enjoys traveling at night, and she will mostly travel at night um, if she can help it. Traveling to new places, especially. So, we made it to Riverwood. Hello. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Hmm. I have, actually. <laughs> Let's let's say this one first. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Is there somewhere I can buy fresh supplies? If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Okay. I saw a dragon in Truly. Hogan. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Well, he didn't say anything about that, so we're just gonna... All right, then. All right. Alright, so, let's talk to this woman over here. Um, it should what definitely it, be said. Sven, drunk on the job again? Boy? Oh, Sven, no. the guy that we just talked to? I saw a dragon. What are you doing? Okay, real quick. Um, so, it should be noted definitely that Jisa is very, right now, very wary about, um, a lot of the people in Skyrim, but... This little small town doesn't seem, you know, it seems a little quaint, it seems kind of unobtrusive, and it seems like it's, it seems like the people here are okay, and they can be trustworthy. Um, when it comes to large political powers, however, um, she's a little bit, she's definitely very cautious of them, and she heard some bad things about the Empire in particular. Um, and so she was going to be very, very cautious about them. Um, you know, on the family's travels, they heard a lot of stories about the Empire. Uh, they spent a lot of time in Hammerfell, uh, which is not a part of the Empire anymore. And so they definitely heard about a lot of the Red Guards' kind of opinions and attitudes surrounding the Empire. Uh, and they basically learned to be very wary of any Imperials. And when they were in Cyrodiil trading, they were not there for very long um, for any of their trips. Uh, they mostly mostly dealt in Hammerfell, and um, Jiisa and her littermates mostly are... Um, mostly felt like Hammerfell was, was their home, even though they were on the road quite a bit, but they spent the most time in Hammer, Hammerfell, and they felt the most at home because their parents especially kind of likened it to elsewhere where they were from. And they thought that the sands were comforting. And so, yeah. But Jiisa is going to talk to this old woman because she doesn't find any reason not to trust her. Huh. So. Did you hear? The Riverwood trader was robbed. Poor Lucan oh, no. must be torn to pieces over it. Oh no. By shore, what do you want? What, girl? It's my boy Sven you need to listen to. He sings at the inn most every night. Okay. I thought that we could actually go into dialogue with her, but clearly we could not. Alright, what's in the air? Hi, Sven. What's up, boy? Boy, I can take these. <laughs> my cabbages! <laughs> Wait, it's still open? Why? <laughs> Alright, that's fine. 
Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Hello. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, yeah. Did something happen? We did have a bit of a, a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I can help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. Okay. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. All right, do you sell I spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. What's that? <laughs> All right, bartering. Okay, blah, 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 bartering. All right, let's sell some of this stuff. Is it valued at zero? Yeah, whatever, that's fine. All right, let's sell four of these, yeah. Sell both of these, sell that. This, let's keep the pickaxe. Um, yeah, we can sell basically everything here. Uh, we're not going to sell that, we're not going to sell that. All right, sell all these though. We're going to try and gain some wealth right off the bat because Yisa knows that you need money to survive. Um, I mean, she was the daughter of merchants, and so she knows that pretty well. That uh, it's required to have money to survive. Um, okay. Let's sell both of these. I hope that that Book of the Dragonborn wasn't the only one ever. It might be. <laughs> Alright, let's do sell the ruby. Uh, let's keep the amethysts. Is that... Yeah, okay. We can sell these garnets. Uh, we're gonna need to refine the iron ore so that it's a little bit more money. Um, if, if we smelt... Um, the iron ore into iron ingots is going to be twice it's going to be worth twice as much i know that that doesn't really make a lot of sense but we aren't going to do a ton of smithing in this playthrough and so i'm just going to try and get the smithing up as much as possible um just like to get a little bit more skill points um because it's gonna you know be harder and harder as we go forward and i want to make this i've tried to make like design she said to be a kind of like a longer term character instead of just stopping with like primary and secondary skills or whatever um i've tried to make her a little bit more complex than that uh clearly <laughs> spent the past couple of days trying to um kind of formulate my thoughts on everything and get this character you know a good amount of personality and depth and everything so yeah so we don't have enough for anything enchanted basically um yeah actually do you have any soul gems Ooh. oh yeah another thing obviously these things are just gonna come up as we go but um jisa will not um do any soul trapping um she and her family are against that so that's not going to be something that they that she does um any soul gems will be 
purchased from merchants. Um, you know, the the ethics of whether you buy them or not is a little bit iffy, but they're only for a specific purpose. They fill the specific purpose of enchanting items to make yourself stronger and to make yourself um, be able to face what you come up against. So, yeah, there's that. All right, we're going to get some... We're going to get Frostbite. Because Shiisa is definitely interested a little bit in Frostbite. Um, I think we have Clairvoyance. Fury... We'll wait on. Oh, Lesser Ward. Since Shiisa knows a little bit about uh, low-level restoration spells, let's grab that one. Ray Zombie, nope. Oh yeah, Conjuration, we're not going to go for. Uh, Illusion, maybe a little bit. Um, we'll see, kind of as it goes on. But yeah. You know, I think... Oh. Is this... Oh wow, the Grand Soul Gem is actually filled. Oh wow. Okay, let's just grab a Common Soul. Um, we don't have enough money yet for all of that. Can we sell anything else? We'll sell the amethysts. Why not? <laughs> it's worth it, I suppose. Sell this iron ingot. Um, I'm going to wait on these because I want to do some alchemy. Um, potion crafting, poison crafting, that kind of thing. We can poison the little daggers. Um, that'll deal a good amount of damage. All right. I'm gonna wait on that. Oh, visit the College of Winterhold. Look at that. Time. Look at that. All right. Cool. So you're missing something, and I'm guessing it's gonna be brought right here. <laughs> All right, let's open. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh, you can we? see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. What are you doing that for? What am I doing what for? What did I do? <laughs> I heard some pounding and then this kid was like, what are you doing that for? I'm like, I don't know what I did. I can't see myself. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. Those thieves it's must be mad night. hiding out there. Mm. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and humans without. You're actually right about that. All right. All right, Camilla, show me the way. This way. Are you gonna show me? Oh look, it's an inn. This way? I've actually never really noticed, or really like paid attention when Camilla was showing me to Bleak Falls Barrow, because obviously it's really easy to find <laughs> if you're just following the quest marker. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. She doesn't really, she doesn't really show you. <laughs> it's not stealing, is it? No. Okay. All right. So, oh yeah, the reason why I'm taking food is because, well, eventually we'll be able to actually, um, grab some food. <laughs> we'll be able to grab some food. We'll be able to, um, turn those Fadal ingredients. Away from me. She's already oh. Mine, I keep telling him. oh, that Camilla Valerius? Really? I'm like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. You and Feindal are uh, both like the same girl? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf you? is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. <laughs> it's 
So, he sounds persistent, why not do something about it? Or, yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. <laughs> He sounds persistent when I do something. I know that there's a quest related to this and the that you can actually um you can have either one of these guys as a follower if you kind of go along with their storyline to like woo Camilla Val Valerius or you could marry Camilla herself and kind of like um screw over both of these guys um which is kind of funny and I like that option the best because <laughs> neither of them seem like all that great people. Um, and they're both willing to manipulate Camilla, um, to earn her favor, which is not super great, so. He sounds persistent, why not do something about it, or yes, two people spending time together. I want to say this one. <laughs> is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Uh, I don't know who that is. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give so you both. a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Sven's fake letter from Feindal. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll probably do this later, because I've actually never completed this entire quest. I've just heard a lot about it. It's just not something that I've been interested in. Um. Hey, so am I supposed to talk this to you? Way. Ooh. You know what? Let's I'm do it now. <laughs> we'll finish this little quest. Um, the outcome is going to be what I just told you. <laughs> what I prefer. Um, before the storm. Yeah, let's do that one. Wait, what was it? Oops, no. <laughs> Not that. Um, optional tell Fandal about Sven's letter. Or deliver Sven's letter to commit. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, let's tell Feindal. Let's, uh, figure out what he's up to. But yeah, so I think we will do this little quest and then we'll end the episode. I promise we're, we're almost done. I thought Feindal was in here I wonder for why some they reason. Only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are Ooh. worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, so if you weren't already aware, you can generally tell um, every character's race by, oh man, we gotta, we gotta wait. Oops. Um, shoot, how do you wait? Yes. <laughs> um, so we gotta wait until this door is able to be opened after it's, you know, after he's up and about. Because if you just go into people's houses at night, they don't generally like that. Let's wait another hour. Hello? Hey, doll. <laughs> oh, wait, he's out now. Oh, and that's, uh, Elvor over there, I believe. Uh, we will talk to him next time. Oh, wait. Vandal's over here. That was Camilla. I feel like I've never been here at night. Or, uh, I've been here at night, but I feel like I never enter at night. So I, I mean, you usually find him over here. Riverwood's agreeable so enough, I, I suppose. He was. For an old village. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Cool. I don't want him to teach me to better, train me to be better at archery. Sven wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla, saying it was from you. What is that blowhard up to now? <laughs> so, he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. Okay. Farewell. So, Feindal is a wood elf and he's one of the few Maybe in the game i don't think Camilla that there are hilarious. i have she's great i understand i understand Camilla you like her as well or even knew about them have you tried 
talking to her. <laughs> I've talked to her. I think she's great. Just saying. Um, yeah, so, uh, Fandal is one of the few, um, wood elf characters, or Bosmer, sorry, if you prefer to use, um, the more correct term, I guess? But yeah, um, Fandal's a wood elf, there aren't many of, of, uh, wood elves, there aren't many wood elves in the game, um, Camilla Valerius and Lucon Valerius are Imperials, so there are three different types of humans, um, three different types of elves, uh, and there are the orcs, which, um, it's kind of debated whether they're elves or not, um, by their origin story they were elves, and then something happened, and then blah blah blah. I'm not gonna get into all that. If y'all want me to talk about lore, I absolutely can. I love the lore of the Elder Scrolls. Um, yeah, I can get into all that if y'all would like to, would like to uh, hear about that from me. But yeah, so um, Lucan Valerius, Camilla Valerius, they are Imperials, which are one of the races of humans. Um, and then Sven is a Nord, and then his mother that we had talked to obviously is a Nord as well. Um, yeah, and we're a Khajiit. I love. I love. I love. She's probably the best character I've ever created in this game, to be honest. I'm very, very happy with this character creation. So, all right. Hello, Camilla. This way. Oh. Wait. I'd yeah. Get going. Yeah, yeah. Lead me over there. When we, yeah, let's get far enough away from the town to where they don't hear the rumors. Because <gasps> it seems like this town is very small and. Everybody knows everybody, and, you know, all the rumors and things. So this is where you were trying to lead me to, because you weren't following me. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Your mouth is so tiny. Mara all right, so. For agreeing to help us. Well, thank you. How much farther do I have to well, walk? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, that watchtower? Head north, Bleak Falls so. Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Okay. I act like I'm listening and I, I know how to get there. <laughs> Alright, so Feindal asked me to give you this letter and say it was from Sven. You what? What are you talking about? Why, that jealous idiot. Thought he could just manipulate me into never seeing Sven again? Thank you for telling me the truth. You should speak to Sven. I'm sure he'll want to thank you too for defending his name. Wait. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Okay, thanks. Wait, so how do I get the best ending that I want? Can I talk to Sven and be like, fuck you, boy? That's what I want to do. <laughs> that letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindal ever again. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Feindal. Now Feindall. that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. Oh, man. Oh, right, man. Then. Wait. I don't think that's how I wanted that to end. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. That's not how I wanted that to end, I don't think. Dang it. <laughs> ah. Alright, anyway, sorry that was a little bit disappointing. Um of an end to an episode but thank you all very much for watching uh and i will see you again i will see you very soon in the next one because i'm going to record another one right after this so you'll see the same shirt the sino shirt <laughs> all right thank you all very much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one
Bye bye, gamers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>